Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 24, Terrence Hayes. Although he's far from a household name, even among aficionados of contemporary poetry, Terrence Hayes is among the most decorated living authors of poetry having won several of the most prestigious literary prizes over the course of his publishing career, which is now well into its third decade. Hayes was born and raised in South Carolina, living there until moving to Pittsburgh to do his graduate work in creative writing. He's published seven celebrated collections of poetry between 1999 and 2018, and has taught at Carnegie Mellon, the University of Pittsburgh, and at NYU. He's a remarkably precise craftsman as a poet, even inventing his own forms and structures with which to organize his verbal art. His work also uses what many critics have identified as a disarming sense of humor to deal with the intensely serious subject matter. Even just the title of his most recent collection, American Sonnets for My Past and Future Assassin, shows this tendency at work, and the individual verses in that book are notable both for their exquisite use of language and for the difficult emotions that such beauty expresses. Now let's watch and listen to Hayes reading from his work. This is American Sonnet from my past and future assassin. It's the first poem in the book. The black poet would love to say his century began with Hughes or God forbid Wheatley, but actually it began with all the poetry weirdos and warriors, warriors, poetry whiners and winos falling from ship bows, sunset bridges and windows. In a second, I will tell you how little writing rescues. My hunch is that Sylvia Plath was not especially fun company. A drama queen, thin skinned and skittery, she thought her poems were ordinary. What do you call a visionary who does not recognize her vision? Orpheus was alone when he invented writing. His manic drawing became a kind of writing when he sent his beloved a sketch of an eye with an X struck through it. He meant, I am blind without you. She thought he meant, I never want to see you again. It is possible he meant that too. For more information about Hayes and his work, Click on the link above to visit his personal website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio.